And without uh, uh, any more plugging of things, how are we doing, so, gentlemen? Would you, plugging of things? Speaking of plugging of things. Oh, wow. Right into it. Right into it. it. Get this. Up. Lacquer was plugging the Merlin engine. Oh, is this what all those... Um all those scrubs were about yes yes it is huh. this which is the crazy okay so we talked about this a little bit last week you know we had kathy we showed those tweets from kathy looters kind of talking about this anomaly they're noticing on you know they happen to see it come to find out so they it, it's this anomaly that they happen to see twice in a row almost that has never cropped up before in hmm. the th- literally i think was at SpaceX at Discord, if you want to double check, I think Elon tweeted a, a little bit ago that they had fired their either thousandth or ten thousandth Merlin engine like last year. So they've I think ten thousand times actually if I think about it, because they each yeah, each rocket has ten engines. they they're coming up on a hundred flights, so there's a thousand without all the static fires, all the testing, without all the you oh, know wow. each rocket fires three times, so there's three thousand just easy math, you know, basically. So, yeah, probably I think they've fired these things over 10,000 times. They just so happen to see two little anomalies on their engines basically back to back. And there's a there's a lacquer that's applied during the anodizing process that treats the aluminum uh, inside the gas generator. Uh, It's supposed to be subsequently removed. But in the case of two engines in particular, a tiny bit of material was trapped inside a tiny borehole that's only about two millimeters wide. Wow. And what it was doing um, it was actually allowing the engines to start up early. So that's how they noticed it, that, that two of the engines were starting up, like literally it might have been like fractions of a second early. But what they were saying is like this could have been, so it's a relief valve within the gas generator um, that powers up the machinery. Uh, they were able to show that removing the lacquer from the vent hole allowed the engines to start up normally. So they were nervous. So Hans Koenigsmann, the, the, he's basically the head of propulsion uh, or head of engineering at space propulsion engineering. What is no, not propulsion. What is he Falcon engineering or something? Um, he said, uh, he said nothing really bad would have happened, but under certain extreme scenarios, rattling from an earlier ignition could have caused significant damage to the Merlin engine. So it's basically this, hmm. this thing was there starting kind of early, like, you know, a rougher start than they would, than they'd want, or could have had the potential to have a rough start, you know, it's just something out of the ordinary, right? And in the rocket world, as soon as you see something out of the ordinary, you have to figure out what's going on because, um, you know, these things are bleeding edge technology, high pressures, high explosions. If something goes wrong, it could lead to very bad things, especially now that this rocket is flying people. So they were able to replicate it. They found exactly what it is. Um, the two engines that they found to have this problem on the, on the it was supposed to be the, uh, a rocket launching a GPS mission. They found it. They replaced them. They also replaced another one, I think, on on a crew on one of the crew one missions. But well, here's what they're gonna do: their plan of attack. They they found it. They they know what the problem is. They've checked all engines going forward. Um, SpaceX is going to be launching two rockets before they launch crew on November 14th or 15th now. Um, so they're going to be launching the GPS mission and then there's Sentinel six, which is an, another NASA mission. So basically there's three NASA missions, like high class NASA missions, G, uh, or GPS is technically air force, but GPS on November 4th, uh, Sentinel six on November 10th. And then November 14th is crew one, which would be that first wow. operational crew. So, Wow. They're not going to have time to launch any Starlinks. <laughs> they mm. almost might not. Well, but hey, how do you actually like test that? So you fire it up, you measure it, uh, you know. So first you're like, ah, I found it. And then you're like, cool, let's see if that's it. So let's fire it up, measure the things, how it fired up, whatever. And then be like, okay, cool, let's go unplug it or whatever. Now let's fire it up again. I mean, when you fire it up and then it has to cool... <laughs> for you oh, to go yeah. clean it. Oh yeah. And and then you have to like refuel it. <laughs> well, right? and we're talking about a part that's deep inside of the rocket engine. So y- y- disassembly, yeah. we're talking about that's why this stuff takes weeks. Because yeah. it's a disassemble a rocket engine, you know, wait wait for it to cool off, take it off the test stand. Yeah. You know. This is why definitely... like like certain things on cars are this way too, right? Like back in the back in the good old days, you could just like, you know, stand inside of a, a Chevy. And just like work on something, but now it's like every you got to take this part off to get to that part to this part to that part. Right. It's like a Rubik's cube of uh, pieces all stacked yeah. on top of each other. That must and that volume, must have been nuts. 
Yeah. I, and I just find it so crazy that they had never experienced this before. So I don't know if it's something that they, maybe something in their manufacturing line or some change to, you know, something in the way they're processing these or manufacturing led to this, that they, the, a small change that they just would have never noticed, you know, some vestigial thing of like, oh, I guess we did actually change it from, uh, you know, plugging that thing over here. And then now we change it to over on this side of the factory and over on this side of the factory, we accidentally removed this step or something or, you know, something. Who knows? But could be the good a, thing like is chemical difference in the materials that we could have switched to a different lacquer. Or, like, yeah, exactly. You know, could be something totally upstream that you had no idea that even changed. But the best news with anything like this is when you find out the root cause and can go forward. So mm. they have, and they are. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks everybody.